And then we have our baby back ribs. The 750 pound smoker at Barabiku in Parma gets a lot of use and abuse. Right when we were about 30 minutes away from finishing our ribs, we hit it with this glaze. Uh -huh. And the sugar, as you can see, oh, I put a little extra on it. They told me to cake it on. Owner Danny Cassano has to wash it out after every cook with a hose and grill brushes, a job that usually takes 30 to 60 minutes. So he was more than willing to try out nine grill cleaning gadgets that promised to safely and effectively clean his pride and joy. First up, the Grill Daddy with bristle lock technology for safety. It promises to use steam to rid the racks of caked on gunk. I mean, look at how clean it's getting. It. Yeah. And you're not putting, I mean, I'm, I'm not really putting any pressure. Next, we tried the Grill Stone. Wow. It's a good product. Yeah. I like it. And once it gets worn down, though, it kind of sticks in those grooves. Mm -hmm. So it actually makes it easier. The woody shovel got a test drive yeah. next. Yeah. And the idea, obviously, is to create the grooves, <clears throat> I think, yourself with a hot grill. Of Wow. It's great for this uh, picked on sugar, but as far as getting them uh, shiny and in between, that's not going to happen. It's not going to happen with this guy. We had similar results with another paddle, the safe scrape. It's not wrapping around and hugging them uh -huh. like, the, uh, like that lava stone kind of did, or I think a brush would. Mm -hmm. But for getting heavy stuff up, this thing's great too. When Danny picked up the Kona grill brush and scraper, he knew he'd like the results. Oh, wow, look at that. Okay, wow, that's taking it off really well. Cassano liked this one for the shape of the bristles, also woven in for safety. They seem to wrap around the grill for a more complete clean. Oh my god. This thing is amazing. I want one of these. The Great Valley Brush's dual head looks like it should get those hard to reach places, but it kept catching on the reinforcement bars. It does an okay job, it's kind of awkward. Yeah. But the good thing about it is these don't these don't seem to wear down that, that at all. Another bristled brush was from Weber, which he hoped would form around the grill. It was effective, but a little harder to use. The grill floss also seemed promising, but didn't really deliver. It too got caught up on the grill's reinforcement bars that are on nearly every backyard grill. It works in that way, but it's pretty tedious. Yeah, it looks like you're going to spend hours and hours. The Kona Safe Clean brush is shaped like the grill grate one, but oriented in a more user-friendly way. It's more natural to use it. And it seems like it's not bogging itself down on these um, reinforcement bars. Um, it doesn't get in as well as the other Kona model. So how do these nine products stack up? In a two-way tie for last, the paddles, which were cumbersome and not very effective. I don't know if you're going to really burn in groove marks in a grill ever. The grill floss comes in at number seven because it wasn't flexible enough. Also among the lower performers, the Great Valley. The Weber lands in the middle of the pack for its durability, but it required a little more elbow grease. Number four was the Grill Daddy. It worked, but not because of the steam it promised. Well, it kind of just leaks water as you go, and nobody's, I don't think anybody's going to get where this would be able to create steam, it's going to burn you. The Kona Safe Clean was user friendly and durable, putting it at number three. And the Grill Stone was a favorite for its ability to form around your specific grill. But the clear winner was the Kona brush with the floss, scraper, and long bristles. And it contours these little bristle heads. They're sturdy, but they're flexible and they don't seem to they don't seem to get destroyed. It was so easy to use, I even volunteered to finish the job when our test was done. Getting answers, Jen Pachano, Cleveland 19.